In this video on categorical arguments and reasoning, I'm going to show you how to diagram a categorical argument using the Venn diagram method to determine whether or not an argument is valid. You need to already know how to diagram the four standard categorical claims. And in particular, for the argument that I'm about to do, you definitely need to know how to diagram an A claim. So here's our argument. The first premise is, all musicians can read music. Premise two, Mary is a musician. And our conclusion is, Mary can read music. The first thing we need to do in identifying whether or not a categorical argument is valid is we need to identify the terms involved in the argument. And we start with the conclusion. The terms of the conclusion will help us identify the terms in the premises. So the first term here, is the category of all things identical to Mary, or all persons identical to Mary. So it turns out that this conclusion is going to be of the form all s r p, where Mary is the subject of the claim, Oops. and the other category, which is the predicate, are going to be all members of the category of people who can read music. So our conclusion is of the form all S or P. And we've identified Mary as the S term and all members of the class of people who can read music as our P term. So we can identify those in the premises. So this becomes our P term. And Mary is our S term. And our only term left is members of the class of musicians. And I'm giving that the M category that stands for the middle term, not necessarily musicians. And so once we have this established, that's how we get this standard form categorical argument. And so the next step is to diagram each of these premises using the Venn method to determine this argument's validity, whether or not it's valid. So I'll start with premise one, all MRP. And we know that from being able to diagram the A claim of the form all SRP, that this is the region that needs to be shaded out to correctly diagram all MRP. So I'll go ahead and fast forward through that now. So here we've correctly diagrammed the first premise, all M or P. We recognize all M or P is of the form all S or P. And since we know how to diagram that, we know that the region that we need to shade out is the region of M that isn't in P. So we would pull that piece out such that if there is an M, it's in the member of the P class. So the next step is to diagram the second premise, all S or M. And we know that that is also of the form all S or P, which is our A claim. So we know that this region here is the region that has to get shaded out to correctly diagram that claim. And I'll fast forward to that now. Okay, so we've diagrammed the second premise here. And we stop diagramming now and we evaluate the argument. The argument says that in order for an argument to be valid, if the premises are true, it's impossible for the conclusion to be false. And that's in fact what we see. This is a valid argument because after we diagram the premises as true here, it's impossible for S to be anything other than a P. We know that if we were to diagram all S or P, we'd be shading in this region here. And in fact, that region is shaded in as a result of diagramming premise one and premise two. So diagramming all M or P is true, diagramming all S or M is true, it's impossible for all S or P to be false. That's why this is a valid categorical syllogism. This is a valid argument, and we just showed it. Every S that exists is a P.